Hey everybody, this is DJ Jerry. I'm in downtown Los Angeles and I'm at the last bookstore. It is so hard to find a bookstore in this place. Everybody's, you know, looking at their computers and their phones. But there are a lot of people who still love books and they've got records, CDs, DVDs, all kinds of collectibles. So let's get in there and check yeah. it out. Save some money, save some time, save a nickel, save a dime, lower prices every time, go see Cal. Okay, everybody, uh, I'm in the vinyl section in the belly of the beast here of one of the, the last book and record stores here in downtown Los Angeles. I was just thinking that, you know, there's so many records here. I would just pull out a few uh, interesting ones that I found. Uh, this one is The Who Live at Leeds. This is the DECA release. And what's so interesting about it is that uh, the standard release doesn't usually open up. This is a gatefold and it has their uh, EMI rejection letter that telling the WHO that they didn't qualify. Wow, that was a mistake on EMI's part. They got picked up by DECA. And here they, it comes with a poster of the WHO. And you got another cool picture of um, the WHO in concert. There's uh, Pete Townsend uh, jumping, holding his guitar. And the album also itself, the vinyl label, is different than the standard release. All right, we're going to look at a, we're going to look at a couple more here. Uh, I found some musical treasures here. Actually, this is Alice Cooper, Billion Dollar Baby. from the 1970s. It actually has a billion dollar bill. I didn't know the bills went up that high, but this is a poster of the United States of America, one billion dollar bill. Here it is. Oh, wow. United States of America, Alice Cooper. Billion dollar babies. There you go. I don't think I have this poster, but I do have this album at home somewhere. And this one I thought was really interesting. It's uh, another Alice Cooper album and it's called Alice Cooper Muscle of Love. And this is actually the cover. It's not something it was mailed in. And it has a watermark because the muscle of love is the heart. So I guess uh, it's uh, a bleeding heart or maybe it's a stripping wet. Look at this. Do not bend, avoid excessive heat. Muscle of Love, <laughs> it tells all the songs on the back. Phonograph included, look at that. It, he just pulled out all the stops on this one. Just uh, <laughs> uh, old Alice, uh, Muscle of Love, 1973 release on Warner Brothers Records. Now, if you're into the imports, uh, this is a rare Bob Dylan album called The Free Wheelin' Outtakes, and that comes from Germany. I bet you haven't seen this one too much. It's only 20 bucks, and it's got a lot of songs that are on the Bob Dylan Free Wheeling album. And Columbia Sessions, New York, 1962. Wow, Bob just turned 80, and he is still rocking it out there. Uh, this one is uh, Rolling Stones' One Hit to the Body. And I know the Rolling Stones released, after 50 years, a song called Scarlet that they did with Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin. Here's another song they performed with uh, Jimmy Page. It, somehow it doesn't get as much attention as it should, but it, it's from the Dirty Works album. This is the extended single, One Hit to the Body. They had it for $80 on Amazon, but that's new. This one is slightly used. And uh, we're going to take a look at the Jimi Hendrix albums. Wow, look at this one. Nine to the Universe. This one was released in the 1980s. One thing about Jimi Hendrix, he, he only had maybe a maybe a four or five year career that he was famous during but he puts out more albums <laughs> than most artists have and you know this this one is kind of like almost like a jazz album it's it's with the band of gypsies album it's pretty cool uh nine to the universe i think it's out of print and the, here is Jimi hendrix roots of hendrix during his earlier years before he was famous is with uh, lonnie youngblood and um some of the songs are repeated. There's a lot of early Hendrix. I know one of his most famous bands was when he performed with Little Richard. 
And we found a Rolling Stones album. This one, I believe, is out of print. It's called Metamorphosis. And it, it's not an official release. It's on Abco. But it's, it has a lot of uh, either rare versions of famous songs and some songs that weren't included on other albums. Kind of a cool album. The Rolling Stones Metamorphosis. This one came out 1975. What else do we got here? Oh, Sheila E. This one is out of print. Um, very hard to find in CD. Uh, if you find it, it, it goes for a lot of money. But this one is a vinyl, more common. This was uh, Prince actually worked on this album. She was a Prince protege. Sheila E., great per percussionist and singer. And I think Prince played on this album, wrote some songs. And... The song Glamorous Life was actually written by Apollonia. It was written about her idea, but I don't think she got credit. It was about her life. And Prince got most of the writing credit. Right now she's writing a book about it. We, wow, look at this Kiss album, Black Diamond. This was from 1974. It's a broadcast from Lafayette Music Room. This is a rarity. And that's really early Kiss, the original four members and it's called Black Diamond. It was uh, from April 18th, 1974, FM broadcast, Lafayette Music. That was about a year after they got their record contract. Eddie Kramer was their record producer. He worked with many famous acts, including Jimi Hendrix. All right, well, we're gonna look at a few more items. They had some very cool terrarium ideas to what you can do with maybe some of the out-of-date technology and devices you have around the house. Maybe some of them don't work. You can make a beautiful terrarium out of them. Look at this one. Uh, I used to have a stereo like this back in the 80s. 8-track <laughs> tape player and they just carved out a, a, a terrarium where you put the low water cactus plants. Look at this one. This old Zenith radio and this projector, 8 millimeter projector. Another Zenith AM FM radio. And this one is uh, a terrarium made out of eight track tapes. And there's another one, clock radio terrarium. Look at this. The, um, you've got the CD singles <laughs> made into a terrarium. Look at that. And this is a regular terrarium. This is. Um, Oh, this is like a tuner for the stereo. Very creative. I've never seen this stuff anywhere. There's a cassette player. And you got another 8-track tape. So it just gives you some creative ideas if you want to get some of your house plants in. Look at this. Record player terrarium. Reel-to-reel uh, -reel terrariums. Very cool stuff here. Now, they got a lot of books, too. Maybe we'll visit the rock section in a little while. Okay, we're in the rock book section here at the last bookstore. And look what they've got. They've got some really cool books. Uh, this Bob Dylan one goes electric. I did a whole video about that. I didn't know there was even a book written about it. And that was an interesting period. And also, there's a Neil Diamond book not written by him but is actually autographed for five dollars by the author you can't beat that look at some of these books they got jerry lee lewis lost and found john lennon imagine eric clapton treasures bruce springsteen songs look at all this cool stuff they've got you got to come on down here i feel like cal worthington but uh check this place out here's cal worthington at his dog spot they got country and folk, metal. Look at that. You got the Beatles, Led Zeppelin. They have song books here, sheet music, play along guitar. Here's Prince. This is, uh, oh, these are just some, this is some song books, sheet music. This one was written by uh, Prince's wife, all about their marriage. I believe they were married back in the 1990s. You got Ron Wood from the Rolling Stones. There's a Rod Stewart autobiography. Rod Stewart autobiography. 
You got the unforgettable fire, the U2 story, lots of cool stuff. Rolling Stone magazine. This Norman Mailer book, uh, for a second I thought that was Lindsay Buckingham from Fleetwood Mac. Now they have an Elton John CD, and they're pretty reasonably priced, only $5 for this one. If you're into digital music, they got that. And here's some more music songbooks. They have all different types of music books about dance and opera and classical music. Old Beatles albums here. Look at that. Live at the Hollywood Bowl. There's the Beatles Yesterday and Today, which uh, originally was the Butcher Block album. This album is the first album by The Cars and Look at the price, $24.99. I used to see these all the time for like either 50 cents used or a dollar used. Um, hopefully you still have your copy. Um, you, <laughs> it's, it's going up in value, you know. I always say the CDs are only giving you, you know, less than a percent for long-term investments in the bank. But uh, the, the records and CDs here are going up in value a lot more than those. So... Sometimes a guilty pleasure is a good thing to invest in. A whole section of DVDs too, we can forget about that. Look at that cool Austin Powers collection. I've been waiting, hoping they'll do a, a fourth movie someday. Hope they don't wait too long. And look at all these cool DVDs. This is really cool too. This is a whole barrel of music trading cards. They have a lot of, uh, look at this Bob Marley legend i have a lot of these i collected when they came out in the 90s these rock stars even got robin hood starring kevin costner check this out the books are just flying off the shelves here at the last bookstore in downtown los angeles and here we go we're coming to the tunnel of books you've heard of the tunnel of love nope this is the tunnel of books and I think I'm getting smarter as I go through all the wisdom of the ages here. Look at this. The tunnel of books only downtown at the last bookstore. All right, well, we're about to wrap it up here at the last bookstore in downtown Los Angeles. You gotta check out this uh, bench, Chevrolet bench. My neighbor used to have a Chevy like that. We would jump in the back of it and hang out. Look at these uh, suitcases, you know, nothing with wheels. <laughs> We're back in the 70s, we had to actually carry the suitcases. You didn't just get to pull them. The pilot cases that they have the last 20 or 30 years. But, uh, anyway, if you get a chance to come down to the last bookstore, do it. And don't forget to keep on rocking. Cow, if you want your payments low, if you want to save some dough, go see cow, go see cow, go see cow. Save some money, save some time, save a nickel, save a dime, lower prices every time, go see cow.